What is the quickest way to make money in Football Manager? Maybe download the in-game editor and give yourself £1 billion to spend? Well, that doesn't always work out for you, does it? Sorry, Chelsea. Uh, what about taking advantage of the transfer glitch, uh, the infamous one doing the rounds on all the forums at the moment? Well, it's not the most honourable way of doing things either, and we've got a video talking about a few of the less honourable actions and our opinions on those very matters over on our channel. But today we're going to talk about one simple trick that you can employ to ensure you get the highest negotiation value for any player you're being asked after to help you decide if it's the right sale to make and, of course, to make the most money. So let's get into it then and I have an example here on screen from my Marseille save where we have an absolute worldie in Matisse Lambord who at the age of 22 and now at Manchester City is absolutely stacked. But before he became a Manchester City player, we had him for a few years and he scored us 50 goals in two and a half seasons with an average rating of around about 7.35. And yes, we did manage to squeeze this £220 million out of City for him and made a 130 mil profit on that. So it does help when the team that come knocking have bags upon bags of oil money to throw at you, but I maintain that this tip I'm about to show you will simply maximise the bidding value for any player and any club situation. So here was their opening bid then, a proposal of £85 million with an option of 30 mil in extras, taking it up to 115. Now, you already know that we basically double that, which for such an expensive player to begin with is fairly miraculous. But the ace up our sleeve was the fact that we knew which players currently at Manchester City that they valued most and more so which, outside of the position they were in the market for, we could cheekily ask for in exchange for Lambord. So what we're doing here is adding Phil Foden as a player to exchange, and immediately I'm getting them to believe that I value Lambord as much as their opening bid of around 115 mil, plus the market value of Phil Foden, who is probably closer to 200 million pounds himself anyway. So when they come back and add around 30 million to their opening bid, I can then bump that up significantly, and I do so to that total of 220 mil, and they accept. Now I believe that they are accepting this as a fair negotiation, because in their eyes, I've brought down my counter offer from something like 315 million to 220, and they think they've got the good end of that deal. Now the beauty of this is, if the negotiations break down, which actually hasn't happened to us so far in FM24, but I'm guessing it is a possibility, perhaps if the player you end up choosing has that kind of unsellable status in the other team's eyes, but yes, the beauty is that if they break down, the player up for sale doesn't blame you for the way things unfold, because you've hit negotiate and not the reject button. At least that's what I understand of it anyway. There may be something I'm missing. But the most likely outcome here is that the club will, as in this example, recede their initial offer of the player in exchange option and instead pump a higher bid into the equation that you can bump up significantly to maximise profit. Robert is your mother's brother, 220 million to spunk on Wonder Kids. I hope that this trick works for you. Let us know down in the comments if not, as we'd love to learn from this community about all the tips around maximising our finances in FM, uh, because we're cooking one monster of a video about money. Before you do go selling your best players though, you should totally check this video out. It's one we recorded last year, but it still holds up. Wait, it's not where I'm pointing at, is it? It's over my face again, isn't it? Oh well, I hope you've enjoyed this one folks. That's going to wrap it for today. So until next time my friends, adios. Mm -hmm.